हरि ओम हियर वी डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल इज ए पेयर ऑफ ईक्वल एंड ऑपोजिट चार्ज सेपरेटेड बाय ए वेरी स्मॉल डिस्टेंस and here the figure shows a negative charge q and a positive charge q separated by a small distance 2a this small distance 2a is the dipole length we say and that is of the order of angstrom this is such a small value it is now these two charges will be very close to each other that the dipole length is very very short okay now anything we discuss in terms of this or about the dipole will be taken in terms of a quantity called electric dipole moment represented by p vector it is the product of charge and the dipole length that is p equal to either charge q multiplied by 2a and the unit of this dipole moment p is coulomb meter note down specifically the unit of p is coulomb meter and p being a vector you must be noting the direction of the vector and the conventional direction of the vector p is taken from negative charge to the positive charge along the axis of the dipole this is very very important for further calculation and all so the direction is from negative charge to positive charge okay now another important point to be noted about the dipole is that the net charge on a dipole is always zero this is all the basics about the electric dipole dipole moment and all that so based on this very few points we discuss we have to discuss some questions or entrance related questions to find the resultant dipole moment there is a, a basic question you can expect from this part and here will be or you will be given two or three electric dipoles a combined one and uh, you are asked to find out the resulting dipole moment now let us practice one question for example here consider two dipoles identical dipoles i consider uh, to make it simple a little bit simple and to understand the procedure now one dipole is aligned horizontal here as you see in the figure and another dipole is aligned at an angle with the first one so that the angle between the dipoles is 120 degree now the resultant of these two dipole moment will be taken when you do the calculations first of all you are not looking into the angle between the dipoles you have to find the angle between the dipole moments now to find that one you consider the direction of the first dipole is along this way the dipole moment and the second one is the aligned along this particular direction so that the angle between the dipole moments of the two dipoles is only 60 degree coming so after identifying that angle you will be considering the resultant as per the equation root of p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta the common expression in that you substitute pr equal to root of p square plus p square plus 2 into p into p into cos 60 so that the resultant will be equal to root 3 times p is that clear okay now you got one practice question here and you practice and you understood how to work it out so i give you some assignments here you have to work it out and send it to me question for practice two dipoles at 120 degree the here the two dipoles at 60 degree i gave and here three dipoles here it's given positive and negative in a clockwise manner here negative positive negative positive negative positive 
and they comprises an equilateral triangle okay do it separately work it out then the second question is define electric dipole give example for it you have to find the example for electric dipoles then what is an ideal dipole or point dipole this is very specific question that you all must understand so refer the textbook and find out the answers for all this one do practice it and do the assignment and send it to me okay hari om